Bolt IoT reached out to me and sent their IoT and machine learning kit to take a look at and share with you guys. So let's get started. Let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Some components which include a small breadboard, some wires and the micro USB cable for the Wi-Fi module as they call it. It comes in a nice little box as we can see. The board is a small custom microcontroller development board consisting of the ESP12E microcontroller or the ESP8266, the same one we used in, a, in the famous Node MCU we all know. Some extra components like resistors, LEDs, a buzzer, a switch, LDR, LM35 temperature sensor are also included for getting started with a few examples. There are a few stickers included as well. Taking a look at the board, we can see at the front side there is a voltage regulator which will step down the 5 volts from the USB to 3.3 volts for the microcontroller. Yes, this board works on 3.3 volt logic and you have to keep that in mind while working with it. The board also has an built-in LED which is a plus and all the headers are labelled. The only complaint I would have with this board is the micro USB connector. I would have loved to see Type-C in a beginner friendly board like this. Let's plug in the board and power it on. Now for connecting the board to the Wi-Fi, we first have to download the Bolt IoT app. So go to the Play Store and search Bolt IoT and install the application. After it is installed, open it up and log in using your Google account. The next step would be to connect the Wi-Fi board with the micro USB cable to power it up so we can observe there is a blue LED fading in and out. Then in our application we have to select add device. After clicking next, click on ready. It will ask for some permissions and will ask to turn your location on. So that is fine. Then it will ask us to connect to the Bolt's Wi-Fi. So we will click on open Wi-Fi settings and then connect to the Wi-Fi starting with Bolt and enter the password shown on the app. It will then connect to the Wi-Fi module and will try to connect it to the Bolt IoT's cloud so it will ask you for your home Wi-Fi's password. So just enter it and switch from the Bolt to your home Wi-Fi on your phone. It will connect to the cloud and the cloud LED on the board will light up. If we click on the board in the app then it will give us a sample device control from where we can turn on or off an LED on pin 0. So the next step would be to take an LED and connect it between pin 0 and ground. After that if we press on or off in the application the LED will turn on or off accordingly. So after this we have successfully set up the Bolt IoT hardware and we can start building projects with it. That is a topic for another video. After all, I can recommend this learning kit for beginners as it provides with an easy to learn interface and the training is quite detailed as well. So head over to their site, Bolt IoT, and check out the IoT and machine learning course yourself. Use the code G2LEX for getting this course for free. You just have to pay for the hardware kit and the training will be free.